was a moment when the lights went out When death had claimed his victory The king of love had given up his life The darkest day in history On their own the cross they made for sinners for every curse his blood atoned One final breath and it was finished But not the end we could have known For the earth began to shake And the veil was torn Was sacrificed as the heavens roar Oh, hail King Jesus Oh, hail the Lord of heaven earth Oh, hail King Jesus Oh, hail the A flash of light breaking through When all was lost, he crossed eternity The king of life was on the move For in a dark, cold tomb Where our Lord was laid One miraculous Forever changed. Oh, hail King Jesus. Oh, hail the Lord of heaven earth. Oh, hail King Jesus. Oh, hail the Savior. Hey everyone. Um, so when I was in high school, I decided I was going to start lifting weights. I was going to get ripped. And so I go to a gym for the first time and I go to the gym and I think to myself, well, you know, I know how you get ripped. More weights means more muscles. So I put a whole bunch of weights onto the bar and I decided I'm going to get on the bench and lift. So I go ahead and do that. Uh, the only problem is I had just enough strength in my high school physique to be able to lift that bar off the holders and have it Gravity just took its course and it came slamming down like a tree onto my chest and there it stayed because I had no strength whatsoever to be able to remove it from my chest because I was literally just too weak. Now, why do I tell you that story? Well, we're in the very throes of a, being a, able to celebrate the, the death and resurrection of Jesus. We're going to celebrate Easter. Now, we're going to see all kinds of posts of the, the tomb is empty and, and Jesus won and the grave was conquered. And that is all true. And that's why Easter is a very, very big deal for us as Christians. But there is a part of the Easter story that I think really matters to us as Christians as well. And sometimes I think we forget it. And that is the fact that we know that Jesus conquered the grave. But how did Jesus conquer the grave? And what hope does that bring us to our everyday lives, not just our eternity, but our now. You see, every single one of us is dealing with a weight on our chest. I don't know what it is for you. Maybe it's it's a difficult relationship. Maybe it's a, a difficult decision. Maybe it's something, a life circumstance that's happened. Maybe it's an addiction. I don't know what it is, what your struggle is, what your difficulty is, but we all face those things from time to time where it's like, I can't lift this. And you feel as helpless as I did in that gym. And you're like, I, I can't do it. But I have news for you. The very same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead lives in you. And this is what it says in the book of Romans 8, chapter 11, or chapter 8, verse 11. It says, the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same spirit living within 
you. The very same spirit that had Jesus conquer the grave is in you. So don't go telling God that this thing is too overwhelming for you or you can't do it. Yes, you can, because the very same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. So I don't care how heavy the weight is or how heavy the bar is. The spirit of God is saying, let's get ready to lift. And that is a pretty big deal. So this Easter, talk to God and get ready to lift. Let's pray. Jesus, we ask that whatever the weight is that's on our chest, we ask that you, Holy Spirit, give us the freedom and the ability to have the strength to overcome whatever binds us and whatever holds us. We love you, Jesus, and we ask for all of this in your glorious name. Amen.